I'm Eran, co-founder and CEO of LifeMode, where we're fixing home Wi-Fi using AI. So more than half of European homes have access to blazing fast 100 meg internet. And three out of the four fastest countries in the world are in the Nordics. But what we've found is that this rate is unavailable to home users for more than 60% of the time. A typical customer is going to call the customer center about twice a year. Half of that is going to complain about connectivity, and that's basically Wi-Fi these days. The, a Wi-Fi call is a boodle half-hour affair where the agent typically just runs out of options after rebooting everything and whatnot, and either sends in a new device or dispatches a tech, which pretty much does the same. We found that more than 80% of devices recalled in such a manner are not broken and are just shipped right back into the field after basic tests. Wi-Fi is not magic, although it does seem that way to a lot of people who work with it. You just need to configure the software on the devices properly after you've deployed the correct devices. Our team working on this are comprised of veterans and passionate developers. My, myself and my co-founder, Budish, each have more than 15 years of experience in telecoms. And that most of the team has spent more than five years together as lab mates, room mates, office mates. And together, we're a group of Wi-Fi, cloud, and AI experts. That's kind of an unlikely mix of talents that allowed us to build our core product, which gathers continual information from all modems in the field, along with the call center, brings this data up into our cloud, where it's processed every day, all data every day, to generate insights and predictors for the ISP to analyze and fix all problems in the field. The magic here is that the support agent can provide supervision to our machine learning to actually project fixes with high impact onto the entire user base. Looking at all the data allows us to identify trends, such as this one, where neighbors' Wi-Fi usage peaks correspond to data loss peaks. This allows our AI to customize software for every single home such as our frequency selection based on neighbor user behavior. We're currently deployed in coming up on 100,000 homes in Norway and Turkey. We're piloting in Finland, and we're raising cash to address the entirety of the Nordics. In the first year, we were able to reduce the calls, the calls coming into our customers by 10%. This is before the full benefits of the system have kicked in, so we can improve on this. Our current live system incorporates customer center, specialist, proactive maintenance views, as well as a view for proactive upsell, allowing the ISP to target upsell directly to people who can use and benefit from it. Thank you very much. Hi. Oh, that's uh, fascinating. And um, so can the ISPs do something about it live if, if they know that, if, if they know what the problem is, can they fix it remotely without you before you start calling to the call center? Yes. Uh, we actually have an integration that allows us to push configurations directly to the modem over the ISP's configuration server. So a lot of that stuff we do under the hood before anybody complains. This is especially important because the bar is much lower to fix before somebody's irate. Once they're once they're ticked off, right, it's really harder to address their concerns. Would, would this also work on mobile? 4G, 5G, or something like that? So the first penetration is going to be on mobile, like uh, LTE modems, right? Not mobile clients, but mobile modems. But the same principles are, of course, applicable to 4G, like cellular. So uh, who is the customer here? Are you selling to the ISPs, to the modem OEMs, uh, and to the call centers of the ISPs? Uh, we do have partnerships with modem IE OEMs, but the end, the, the end customer who we charge is the ISP. And within the ISP, the, there are multiple owners. It could be the broadband group, the customer experience management group, or customer center, because it creates value for all three. So who, who has been the most successful entry point into those? Broadband. Broadband, because it helps in, because those are the people that come under fire when they roll out a new device or service, and it just fails in the field, right? So those are the ones that are the, the field of pain most acutely. Anyone else doing this? Uh, yes, there are competitors in the space. Uh, a, a major differentiation we have is that we don't sell anything else. We sell only this. So we have, for example, a very free hand in saying that the hardware is failing, highlighting problems with other services. 
so we believe that this should come from a third party rather than a device vendor or somebody who's selling a management server, for example. Thank you.